Hey everybody, welcome back to Video So Tarek and I are continuing the series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project, and I got a fun and different video for you guys this evening, because we're going to be comparing the work in progress Nintendo 64 core to Ares, the emulator online software base that is focusing on accuracy, trying to get as close to a real Nintendo 64 as possible in software emulation. I was chatting with Robert or FPJ Zoom's boss about doing some comparisons on real hardware and software emulation, and this seemed like a fun time as any to do it. So jumping right into Super Mario 64. If you take a look at the bottom left hand side of the screen, I will be showing you when we are on Mr. or when we are on Ares. You will see an indication unless I'm going to quiz you on which source you think it is. And obviously at this point in time, Nintendo 64 on FPGA for Super Mario 64 is basically one-to-one -one accurate with real Nintendo 64 hardware outside of a little bit of the pacing in the cutscene. But in-game, when you were playing this, you would have absolutely no idea that you weren't using original Nintendo 64 hardware to enjoy Super Mario 64. This is one of the games that I have said is perfect to real hardware in the gameplay perspective, and I 100% stand by that. But let's move over to Ares, the software emulator, and see how it's looking on the intro. And right off the top, the one thing I can say between the software emulation and FPGA is that these images look identical color wise the cadence they just feel like similar sources when I'm looking at them in the timeline if I wasn't naming my files correctly and keeping the logos up on screen I would have to go back in and actually check to see which source I was looking now Ares has been around for a long time since like 2021 2022 and you do need to bring a pretty beefy CPU along for the ride if you want to get full speed emulation on Nintendo 64 games it is a high your test emulator because it is going for that cycle accuracy but honestly its performance is mind-blowing in its own right we've come a long way with software emulation the Nintendo 64 because they've been doing this for over 25 years from the like ultra HLE era but as we move back over to mr. FPGA just take a look at the color rendition take a look at the heads-up display take a look at that little bit of fog in the background and then look for the exact same thing when we move over to Aries it is so impressive how incredibly close these two things are to each other that is the real takeaway at least at the start of this there's definitely going to be some discrepancies here and there and I will point them out but I was expecting a bigger Delta between one source to the other and I was absolutely scratching my head in some instances trying to actually find the difference and again pay attention to that logo in the bottom left hand corner this Mario fade out right here looks nice and clean and crisp just like it would on real Nintendo 64 hardware let's move over to software emulation you watch the exact same effect and it looks exactly the same. I could just be basically showing you the same footage and I don't think anyone would actually notice. Now on a side by side at the top of King Bomb Bomb's battlefield here, you're going to see that of course the gameplay is a difference because I am doing this twice. I can't lock the controller to the same setting, but as far as how all those windows render, how everything looks, it just seems to be 100% identical. So here is your first quiz. This is source one. It could be either Mr. or Softer emulation. In a moment I'm going to show you source two. Once you've seen them both, leave me a comment down below in the comments and tell me which source is Mr. and which source is Aries. I would be really curious to see if anybody's actually going to be able to get this. Of all the emulation versus FPGA tests I've shown on the channel, this is by far the closest. If I did not have the file names in front of me, I think I would probably guess maybe half the time right and half the time incorrectly. But as we get up top here as well, Mr. on the left, Aries on the right, you're going to see all of the texture work, the skybox, Mario, the shadow. It is almost indistinguishable. That's how impressive the FPGA core is, and that's how impressive the software emulation is. I am pixel peeping here, and I'm having trouble finding any pixels I don't like the look of in either source. And the hilarious part is I fall off the top is Mario in the Mr. FPGA core, and I manage to do the exact same thing in software emulation. So apparently my gameplay is consistent enough that I make the same mistakes across two different gameplay sessions. Now moving over to the introductory sequence of Majora's Mask. This is not a timing test. I'm going to be cutting from one scene to the other on screen transitions. So when the camera changes from one angle to the other, like right now, we go into softer emulation. And again, the texture filtering, the colors, the cadence of the motion, everything here again just seems like it might be the same source and I wasn't paying attention in Resolve. But trust me, I triple checked and I was. The only issue I could find with Aries in this entire capture is sometimes the audio likes to stutter like it drops out for a frame or two delays and then tries to catch itself back up 
but that could just be a system resource issue as well. Maybe my antivirus has started running in the background and it took some system resources that it shouldn't have. So I can't really even say on the area side if that is a problem with the emulator. So I'm just giving that a pass. But again, as I cut from one scene to the other, they are indistinguishable. That's how impressive the work Robert has done in the last nine months because this emulator definitely has a head start. And don't think of this as a competition. I'm not trying to say one is better than the other. I'm just comparing two technologies because you guys have been asking to see how they stack up against each other. And I might do Moopin64 as well. Leave me a comment down below and tell me if you want to see that. But here is quiz two, cutting the camera angle. Is this Mr. FPGA or is this the Ares emulator? Leave me a comment down below and tell me is the moon on FPGA or is the moon on softer emulation? Be interesting to see if anybody gets these right. Now moving over to my favorite Nintendo 64 game of all time, you knew damn well I was going to compare Bomberman Hero across both platforms. It just gives me one more reason to play some more Bomberman Hero and like I really actually need an excuse for that. And the funny part is I've changed this scene four times now in camera cuts. I haven't put the logo up. I haven't told you about it. I've just let it run. That's how incredibly close these two things are. I can cut back and forth between the two of them and actually not show you the logos and just wait and see if you can actually tell. I'm sure 100% of you can't. It was frame to frame accurate. But listen to some audio. This is a test. Listen closely and I'll be right back with more. So put your votes in down below in the comments. Was that sound source from Mr. FPJ or was it from Softer Emulation? Because I've listened to the Bomberman Hero soundtrack more times than I would like to admit, and I can tell the difference ever so slightly, but I'm curious if anybody else can. But as I now go back to telling you what the source is, Ares or Mr. FPGA, again, having played this game for more hours than I would like to admit or even know, it is so incredibly close. I can just basically transition from footage from one shot to the next, and if I didn't have the logos up on the screen again, I really wouldn't have to tell you what the source is whatsoever. These are both incredibly clear images. They're incredibly well playing. Everything about them just seems to want to match one another. You'll see here as we come a little bit further up, all of that blur in the background, all of the texture filtering just looks like Bomberman Hero on Mr. FPJ. And that's just how good this core has gotten. This is one of my favorite video games of all time, and my preferred way to play it now is Mr. FPGA. As we move over to Star Fox 64, again, even though these do look similar, you do need Need to remember that they're using completely different technologies. I'll leave a link in the description below to the video where I describe the difference between FPGA code execution versus software execution. And that is why you need to bring a very beefy CPU to the Aries party because you need a lot of speed to be able to actually get the accuracy on these cycles on the software emulator while still maintaining a proper frame rate. This is not the type of thing you want to bring a low test laptop to or an i3. I think you're probably going to have a very bad time and I get that most people don't have this same system I do because I use mine for work, but do be aware that the results I'm getting are in part because I have a very powerful PC behind it. But as we move over to Aries again here, you see the moon logo in the bottom left hand corner. These again are so incredibly close and that's just been so much fun to find out. And I do like these comparisons and I know you guys like them as well. Just remember, I don't do them to try to find out fault in any sort of system. I just use it as a comparative analysis to see how things work under the hood and see how close they truly are and once the core is fully finished I will definitely run a full suite of comparisons against this emulator and against real hardware but the core is obviously still in active development so this is just a quote unquote for funsies test I'm just playing around you guys wanted to see it and I wanted to see it as well but it is just so much fun. You'll see here again, you can barely even see the transition. I actually did fade that out between one source to the other, but if you weren't paying attention, you barely even notice it. And the best part is I've been playing these games for so long for the core videos, I can basically play them the exact same way twice in memory. And that is a very difficult thing to do. 
but again as we go through the world of Star Fox 64 here it just looks incredible on Mister and then we move over to Ares and it still looks great. It is so fun to see how far Nintendo 64 recreation and emulation has come. I remember like 2004 being at the Denver International Airport on a ski trip for work and I was sitting there with my laptop trying to emulate Super Mario 64. It ran all of like six frames per second and I was absolutely staggered that that was even possible in the first place 20 some odd years later and this is what we're looking at right now but i'm gonna give you guys one more test because i love seeing the comments come in and declaring the winner and i will let you know the results of this let's say 48 hours after the video goes live so go ahead and listen to this sound source and again leave a comment down below fpj or software Best of luck on guessing on that one because it is extremely close, but again, I have the file names in my timeline as I edit these things that I know and you don't, so I'm curious to know whether or not you can actually figure it out. As we go through Star Fox again, ending on the Mr. FPGA source, it is just so fun to be able to actually compare these two completely different things that are trying to achieve the same result and seeing how incredibly close they get. And that's the fun part. And on this last shot here, not so much a quiz, I just pulled the logo off of the top just to play around and say, this could be Mr. FPJ, this could be Ares, you really wouldn't be able to tell, even if you went frame by frame in this example, there would be nothing to notice because there is nothing to notice. That's how far the Mr. FPJ core has come, and it's not even done yet, but I can still run these comparisons to check things out and tell you how impressive all this work has been. Robert's been working on this for 10 months now, and it seems like it's been 10 years in the best way possible. But that's the current situation with the current Mr. FPJ Nintendo 64 core. I will definitely run another video if there's interest in it on something like Moopin 64, which is definitely not as accuracy focused. Not to knock it, it's just a different way to achieve a similar result. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you want to see a different set of tests between Ares and Mr. FPGA, leave me some game lists down below and maybe I'll get to those as well. But short of that, go play Nintendo 64 because we are done. Bye bye.